Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first edition of the COM 2095. This weekly video that will always go out on Fridays is a way for me to chat with you outside the purview of our Tuesday lecture. Yes, we're all going to be online in some way the rest of the semester, obviously. We're doing online classes. You're watching a lot of video. What I don't want this COM 2095 to be is boring. I want it to be conversational. I want you to feel like we can talk about this in our discussion posts when they start in week two. I want you to feel like we're bringing something else to this uh, platform aside from what you read during your uh, lecture after lecture or read for next week. So again, this is going to be something that I wanted to do for a long time as part of my classes. And now that we're all online, it allows me to do that. So the F COM 2095 will be something that will either go exactly five minutes, or it'll be less than five minutes. That way, you're not snoozing by the end, and we can actually talk about this a little bit more in class. So first off, what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about what you are reading about the boomerang effect. Now, to put it simply, and you've probably seen the journal article that is up on our Canvas board, is that the boomerang effect can have negative effects. These boomerang effects are harmful messages that end up being sent out at times. They can also be good, but have an opposite effect. So for example, if you go back in time and look at the uh, Say No to Drugs campaign, there was a television commercial, there was also a physical ad campaign and said, this is your brain, this is your brain on drugs. And it had the boiling egg, and then it had on the, this is your brain, it would just be the egg inside the shell. And then you'd crack the egg and put it on a, a griddle, and that was the brain on drugs. There were people that it, it affected, but there were also people that made fun of it left and right. Did it have the intended effect? Did it get people to stop doing drugs? Most likely not. But we've also seen commercials like that today. Do the commercials, the anti-smoking commercials, do those help stop people from smoking? Do the commercials that show cutting into a lung with it being blackened from smoking, do the commercials that have shown you what happens with texting and driving, does that prevent you from texting and driving? Sometimes all of these commercials have the negative effect on us and do not do what the intended effect was, was to prevent something. So that's what the boomerang effect can be considered. I also want you to think about this. In your reading from our first book chapter, we're reflecting on what it means to communicate. How do we communicate? And I asked you a little bit about this in our Tuesday session. How are you communicating in these days? We're doing a lot of video. We're doing a lot of posting on social media, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, maybe you still use Facebook, whatever. YouTube is a huge channel. That's why I'm putting it on here. But it's the messages that get out through communicating. We're normally used to talking face to face in a classroom, passing at the bridge or at Starbucks or even through the quad now. That's normal human communication. But what happens when that communication is moved offline? It changes how we react. Think about what's been going on lately um, with racial injustice. A lot of the messages have moved online. Has that been more effective in getting out these messages to a greater audience? Some will argue that because we are in a pandemic and because we are not in person, the messages about racial injustice are making more and more of an impact. We're seeing more outrage, more people going to the streets, social distancing as well, and protesting against injustice. But what does that mean to you? Is communication still effective when we do it virtually? Can the social media bubble really make an impact on what we're doing? That's what I wanna know right now. I wanna know from you, whether you leave it in the comments of this video or post it somewhere, when we chat on Tuesday morning, I wanna know whether you think the boomerang effect is something that is not effective, and then how reflect on how you are communicating these days. Does that virtual discussion over Zoom, over text, over FaceTime, is it really real? Think about that. We'll see you on Tuesday. Hope you enjoy the first edition of the COM 2095.